All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about the um, importance of having a good sleeping bag and how to pick the right one for the right situation. Um, each year, about 800 people die in the United States from hypothermia. Um, now, this isn't something that we all need to worry about all the time. But if you do go camping, um, fall, winter, spring, sometimes even in summer, um, it is something you need to worry about. Um, anytime your body temperature drops only to 95 degrees, your body will start to shut down. Um, considering your normal body temperature is between 98 and 100, you're only going down three degrees um, before you're in a life-threatening situation. Um, one of the uh, major things to do in that situation is to get into a sleeping bag. Um, it's one of the things learned as a Boy Scout, learned in the military. If somebody's going into hypothermia, they're, they're going into shock, and you want to put them in a sleeping bag. Um, it's the best way to bring their core temperature back up. Um, there are three major things that you need to remember when you go look for a sleeping bag. Um, they're going to be the temperature rating. You don't want to go buy a winter sleeping bag if you're going out in the middle of the summer. Then you're going to have the opposite problem. You're going to start having heat exhaustion. Um, second thing is the weight and the roominess of the sleeping bag. If you're going um, on a trip, you know, car camping, then you can bring that big giant thing that you know will keep you nice and snug. But if you're going backpacking, if you want something light that you're going to be able to compress and carry with you everywhere you go. The third part is you want to worry about the type of insulation. Um, the two major ones for a, a nice backpack and sleeping bag would be either a goose down, which is a lot more comfortable, lighter, uh, but the problem with that is as soon as it gets wet, it's not going to work as well. Um, the other type of insulation is a synthetic insula insulation. Now, it's not going to be as nice, it's not going to compress as easily, it's not going to be as comfortable, but even if it's wet, it's still. Uh, will keep you warm. Now, today I brought in uh, my military issue sleeping system. When I was stationed overseas in Afghanistan, we slept in the mountains in a tent. There were several times I went to sleep, woke up in the morning, the bottle of water that was next to me was frozen. This system is what kept me alive during that. Um, and now this is a little bit extreme, but I figured it'd be a good example. Um, the first outer layer, layer is a uh, baby cover. You put this on um, whichever bag or both bags you're going to use. This is the outside shell. It's waterproof, protection from the ground, rain, elements. Um, the next layer, which um, you can use by itself, is a um, just a patrol sleeping bag. It is rated at 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, just below freezing, you're good to go. Um, the next one is your intermediate um, cold weather sleeping bag. This one is rated to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. All three of these together combined, you would put the patrol bag uh, inside of the intermediate and put them both inside the, the baby cover. You'd be at a rating of negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, around here, you're not going to need that, but um, when you do go, if you do decide that you need a sleeping bag, just keep in mind that you want to buy it about um, 10 degrees below your expected temperature. Um, thank you. Thank you, Charles. Marshall.